welcome to the session. The given question says, Proof that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. And using the above, do the following. In figure 3, where this is figure 3, A, B and C are three points on the circle with center O, such that angle A, O, B is 90 degrees, AOC is 110 degrees, we have to find angle BAC. First let us prove the theorem. Here we are given a circle with center O and an arc AB Subtending angle AOB at the center and an angle ACB at any point C on the remaining part of the circle. So here we have two cases and for both the cases we shall show that the angle subtended at the center that is angle AOB is twice the angle subtended by the same arc at the remaining part of the circle that is angle ACP. Construction is join CO and produce it to a point P. Also join OA and OB. Now let us start with the proof. For both the cases, in triangle AOC, let us consider this triangle and triangle AOC. Here we have AO is equal to CO since both are radii of a circle. So this implies the angles opposite to these two sides are equal. So this implies angle OAC is equal to angle ACO. And here in this case angle OAC is equal to angle OCA. That is angle OCA is equal to angle OAC. Since angles... Opposite to the equal sides of a triangle are equal. Now, we also have angle AOP is equal to angle OAC plus angle OCA. This exterior angle is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles. And this is the exterior angle property of a triangle. Now here, angle OAC is equal to angle OCA in both the cases. Therefore, in place of angle OAC, we can write ACO or OCA. So, here also in place of OAC, we shall write angle OCA and this gives angle AOP is equal to two times of angle OCA. Let this be equation number 1. Similarly, taking triangle BOC, we have angle BOP equal to 2 times of angle 
BCO. Let this be equation number 2. Now, to prove the first case, we shall add equation 1 and 2. So, on the left hand side, we have angle AOP plus angle BOP is equal to twice angle OCA plus angle BCO and AOP plus BOP gives angle AOB and two times of angle OCA and BCO gives angle ACP. So, this proves the first case and for the second case, we shall subtract 1 from 2. So, we have equation 2 minus equation 1 and this gives angle BOP minus angle AOP is equal to twice angle BCO minus angle OCA. Let us see the figure. On subtracting angle AOP from angle BOP we get angle AOB and we have two times of angle BCO. BCO is this angle and we have to subtract angle OCA from it. So we get angle BCA. That is angle ACP. So we have again angle AOB equal to 2 times of angle ACB. And thus we have shown that the angle subtended by an arc at the circle is double the angle subtended by the same arc at the remaining part of the circle. And by using this theorem, let us prove the second part. In this, we have to find angle BAC. Now, first let us find angle BOC. Now, angle BOC is equal to 360 degree minus the sum of angles AOB plus angle AOC. So, this implies 360 degree minus 90 degrees plus 110 degrees and this is equal to 360 degrees minus 200 degrees and this is equal to 160 degrees. Now, we know that from the above theorem that the angle subtended at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle. So, from the above theorem, we have angle BOC equal to twice angle BAC and angle BOC is 160 degrees. So, this is equal to two times of angle BAC which implies that angle BAC is equal to 160 degrees divided by 2 which gives 80 degrees. Therefore, angle BAC is equal to 80 degrees. So, this completes the session. Hope you have understood it. Bye and take care.